Did I plug in zero? Okay, I'm sorry, two. Two minus two, so we're going to plug in two. Which that should be, here it is, it's right here. It's this one, see. So you, you can get that one, that's not a problem. Which branch? Marine. Army. If you get it wrong, pick Boy Scouts, okay? Don't pick Army. All right, please. <laughs> All right. I miss these steps. We got to change that. <laughs> Which one you think's right? Get a date. Want to have a date? Yeah, that's that's. that's <laughs> what's, what? Which one says the only email address and the only cell number? Easy. I've got to revise it because my cell number changed. Are you talking about what was the last one, Marie? Yeah. Oh, y'all gonna write them down now? <laughs> yeah, Marines. Right. But if you don't get it wrong, pick Boy Scouts right. or the Navy. All right, interval notation. We talked about that. Which one is from zero to two point seven with less than or equal to less than? Which one? Parentheses on both sides. I mean, what's which letter? Which letter? B. 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 Yeah. Right here. B. Yeah, that one. And then which one down here? B. 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 We talk about what parentheses mean and what brackets mean. So. How is homework, test, and exam weighed in Hubert's course? This is the number one missed question on my easy questions. Why do people miss this one? Which one do you think they picked? The D. The D. D. Why is D wrong? Because it only adds up to 90. <laughs> 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 yep. Ms. Evans, people get it wrong? Yes. Yes, they get it wrong. <laughs> no, I'm just, she's been, she's been in my class before. Okay, now I didn't cover this a lot, uh, and it's not that important, but I will show you how to do it for your homework. Or did we cover one of these, did we? No, we didn't. You can do it two different ways. One, you can add the two together, or two, you can do it on the board, whichever one you want to do. They don't give you what f of x is and what g of x is. So since they don't give it to you, you can't add them algebraically because you don't know what they are. So like if f of x was 2 plus 4, or x plus 4, and g of x was x plus, plus 2, then your final answer would be 2x plus 6. And then you could plug in f of 1, I mean g, f plus g of 1, and get 2, where I say 2x plus 6, that'd be 2 plus 6 is 8, and you get 8. And that would be your answer, 8, right here. But since we don't have an algebraic f of x is equal to 2x x plus 1 and blah, 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 we just have this, you're going to have to go by the graph. So I'm just going to show you this for your homework and other purposes. I don't know if I'll put one on the test. Very unlikely. But if I do, let me show you how to do it. First thing you're going to have to do is don't forget about your pre-algebra x and y chart. Remember that pre-algebra? Most of the time you're going to plug in x and what do you get? You get y. You get y most of the time. All right, let's, let's uh, put this on the back burner a little bit because this is not sophisticated enough for us. So what we have to do is we change it and put our pinky up, and this is x, and now, pinky's up, this is f of x. So whatever we plug in for x, we get what? F of x. Which is another way of writing what? Y. Okay. Whenever you see a number in parentheses, what does that mean? That means you're plugging and what? Plugging and chugging. You're going to plug that into whatever this is, right? So x, in this case, right here, is 1. Everybody agree with that? 
So if you're given X, then what do you got to find? Y. So you go, X is equal to 1. What is the red dot? What is the Y for the red dot? 1. one. one. Let me change this one to blue. X is equal to 1. What is Y? They're basically saying, take y of f plus g of f at 1 and do what with them? What's negative 2 plus 1? 1. Negative. The answer is negative 1. I guarantee you there's four or five of y'all that tried this on the homework and you have no clue. And you had no clue how to do it. That's all you're doing. You're finding the y's and you're doing what? Add them together. All right, let's do a nerd. Plug in zero. So I'm going to plug in a zero in red, and I'm going to plug in a zero in y. We don't have anything algebraically to plug it into. 2x plus 4, 3x minus 2. So we have to depend on the graph. So the red zero is what? Zero. The blue zero is what? Negative one. And what's these two added together? Negative one. So negative one is your answer again. Yeah. Alright, you try the next one. Try C. We're looking at negative one here and negative one here. And what's negative one? What does negative one gives us right here? Negative one. And what does negative one give us with the blue? What's those two multiply? Well, two. Two. All right, now you can just do away with this and say f of one, f of one's right here, which is what? What's f of one? Oh, I've been doing it with fast average. No, I'm sorry. I've been doing it up here. I'm sorry. I've got to go back and change it. F of 1, I thought this was F of X. F of 1 is what? Negative 2. So that's the blue. Sorry about that. Okay. I was doing, I thought the red was F of X. I'm sorry. And G, G of 1, right here, is what? Positive one. And what's your answer? Negative two. Negative two is your answer. So you need to check. Uh, multiplication is commutative, so that doesn't matter. Addition is commutative, so that probably doesn't matter. This one's probably the one that matters, so let's redo it. Uh, let me erase that answer. Well, I just want to make sure. I don't want it to. All right, our f of x, what is f of 0? f of 0 is what? Negative 1. So negative 1 minus, and then g of 0 is 0. So negative 1. So it doesn't matter because it's 0. Is that what they're asking y'all down here, those up there? Is that what they're asking? Yeah. Okay. So, and this is a test question. If I put that on the test, some people just stare at it because they don't know what to do because of the way it's worded. Basically, you don't have any algebra to go, to go with, so you have to rely on what? 
The graph. Yeah. The graph and your old. Dangle. One, one, negative one, negative your old, one, two, two, your zero, old zero, zero. Output table. Dang old output table. Dang old output table. There you go. Now you're getting it. Dang old living in a ditch. <laughs> All right, so y'all good, hey, good with that? I'm in a ditch now. Comfortable ditch. All right, let's do a nerd. A tornado comes around. <laughs> Oh, yes, the difference quotient. I know we covered this, didn't we? I know we covered different quotient because it's very important in California. So plug and chug. Do it. We did cover difference quotient, right? That might have been my Cal 2 class. It was a while back. All right, difference quotient is right there. That's the difference quotient. Where does it come from? Well, I'll show you. Quick lesson in Calc 1, or review. Here's your handy dandy first quadrant. Okay? You got a dot here. You got a dot here. How did you know that? One. How did you know that was I'm like making this up. Okay. okay? If I want to find the slope, for those that are listening, if I want to find the slope of that blue line, how do I do it? Well, how, how do you find the slope of the line? Find the domain y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, right? Delta y over delta x, rise over run, mm -hmm. vertical over horizontal, however you learned it. So, Okay, hold your pinky up because we can't say why. That's not sophisticated. So what is this? X. X. And this is? Y F of X. Are you on drugs? <laughs> <laughs> that comes from my cousin, Dean. <laughs> All right. We can't call this X. We could call it X of 2, but we're not. This distance right here, some people call it D, some people call it H. I'm going to just put H right here. I'm just going to put a line there. Some people use D. I, I don't. I use H. So if I wanted to tell you what this right here was, this coordinate, what would I call it? X plus H. Mm -hmm. And what would this coordinate be right here? It would be FX plus H. F of X plus H. So somebody give me the slope of this line. The slope of that line is equal to Y sub 2. What's Y sub 2? Which way do we read? Would it be the F X plus H? We read from left to right, correct? Yeah. So your, here's your X sub 2, Y sub 2 right here. And this is your x sub 1, y sub 1 here. So x sub 2, or y sub 2, would be what? fx plus h. f of x plus h minus, minus what's the f of 1? fx over x plus h minus x. And what happens to the x's? Cancel. And you're left with the difference quotient, which is the slope. This is one of those things that you need to highlight for Cal 1. Difference quotient for slope is equal to that. F of X plus H minus F of X over H. Yeah, you need to, that's, that's one of the, like, rationalizing the denominator, the factoring, the complete the square, you need to take one of the little plastic tabs, put out there and put a star on it and say, difference question, because you're going to see it again that first week, first couple of weeks in Calc 1. And all that is, is a fancy way of writing one, the slope. Y sub 2 
minus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And there's x sub 1 right here. This is x sub 2. And this is y sub 2. This is y sub 1. So that's the difference question. Now how do you use the difference quotient? The way you use the difference quotient is, well, how do you do this? What's this mean? It means that x equals 30. So whenever there's an x, or wherever there's an x in the equation, you're going to plug in 1. Okay? What does this mean? Wherever there's an x, you're going to plug in x plus a, just like that. And y'all did exactly what you were supposed to. Y'all just sat there and what? Stared at it. Okay? So, well, Hubert, what do we do? Well, this is f of x, isn't it? So, we're going to write that. But the first one we're going to write is going to have a big set of parentheses. Why? Because we got to plug in what? That x, x plus h. Minus, I'm going to draw brackets because that is, that right there, minus f of x. So what is f of x? 3x to the third over h. And what goes in here? X plus h. So now what? I want somebody to bite. I want somebody to bite. If I want to bait out there, I want somebody to grab it. Come on. Are you going to distribute? Well, you're getting there, but now you can't distribute yet. You can distribute. You're going to distribute. We were saying that, but not yet. Y'all gonna combine? Nope. Let's just put cannot be done. That's the best, that's the best way to get out of it. <laughs> or erase something. Why don't we erase the three? And, no, that won't work. What, 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 can, what can be done? This right here can be broken up into three x plus h quantity squared, x plus h, and what is this? Shortcut number one, so get to work on algebra there. Brackets, minus 3x cubed over h. So go ahead and be working on this. And then once you do shortcut number one here, what are you going to do here? Number two. No, you're <laughs> disappointed. Uh, you got a two story ditch, don't you? X squared. You're going to take this and do what with it? Distribute it. That's when you said distribute. Now you can distribute. And then when you get through with all that, you can distribute the what? Three, Hubert. That's right, class. This is 100% Algebra 2. There's nothing new here. The only new thing is plugging this in. That's the only new thing. The rest of it is Algebra 2 material.
All right, so using shortcut number one here, you're going to get brackets 3 x squared plus 2xh plus h squared times x plus h, close brackets, minus 3x cubed in brackets. We really don't care about that because it's not going to do anything yet. And now distribute this x and distribute this h. And that's going to give you brackets 3 times x cubed plus 2x squared h plus xh squared plus hx squared plus 2xh squared plus h to the third, close brackets, minus 3x cubed over h. And then distribute that 3, you're going to get 3x cubed plus 6x squared h plus 3xh squared plus 3h x, x, squared. x squared. What? I was just That's saying fine. what you were saying. Plus 2. Oh, now you've got to mess me up. Thanks a lot there, squared. brilliant. <laughs> you on drugs. That's my job. 6. 8xh squared plus 3x <laughs> cubed minus 3x cubed. Now I heard someone say we can what? Combine. And that's what you're supposed to do. And when you combine, basically what's going to be left over? All your h's. So, let's take out all our that 3x cubed. Goes out with this 3x cubed. Uh, anything else with a, without an H? I don't think anything else cancels because you're going to be left. Now you can combine some, yes. But I'm looking to see. There's two can combine, and I think. Uh, Wait, why is that one 3HX squared? I don't know. You check and make sure. I don't know. X times X is X cubed. X times 2XH is 2X squared H. X times H squared is X H squared. H times X squared is H X squared. H times 2X H is 2X H squared. And H times H is H cubed. And then distribute the 3. It'll be 3, 6, 3. 3, 6, 3. And then 3, 6, 3. 3, 6, 3. Now, let's take that Thank you, appreciate it. Alright, now let's take that. It's all over H. I'm not going to worry about this. Oh, it's just thing that worked with me one time. <laughs> It's only the <laughs> operators, the operators, not me. It's all Bush's fault. Alright, 6x squared h. Do we have another x squared h right there? That's a 9x squared h, right? <laughs> Alright, yeah. 9x squared h. So this one and this one. Is 9x squared h plus 9xh squared. squared. There's the well. Plus 3h cubed over h. h. Now, Factor out an H on the top, and we get H 9X squared plus 9XH plus 3H squared over H, and the H is what? Cancel. And you're left with 9X squared plus 9XH plus 3H squared. So that's your final answer for this. And for the next problem. Hold on. Uh, 
that's the answer. I'm not typing it in, but that's the answer. <laughs> now, I'm going to take it. What time is it? Because y'all go into hysterics. Okay. Um, let's take this over to the next page. I'm going to show you what you're going to do in calculus just for your own information. Can you still look disappointed? No, I'm just surprised. you're going to be given in calculus, you're going to go over all this algebra the first week, and then they're going to throw the limit at you. And they're going to say the limit as h approaches zero. What did we say the h was a while ago? Remember the chart I showed you? Oh, it was the d. Yeah, right here. The distance. So, what is that H doing? Just showing the distance between the axes. If it goes to zero, what is it doing? It's going like this, isn't it? That's what it's doing. Now, as this goes down, 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 what is this doing? It's going down, 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 down. And the secant line, that's what this is, the secant line, turns into the tangent line because it gets right, gets right down to here. Right, and we're talking about the width of a hair, okay? Because it doesn't touch this dot, but it gets what? Close. To right up next to it, and that's the whole limit thing. So this secant line turns into uh, turns into a tangent line, which basically is right there. Okay. Now that's going to be talked about in calculus. Okay. Now go back to the equation. So as x as h approaches zero, as those two dots get closer and closer together, you get nine x squared plus nine x times zero plus three times zero squared. And what happens to these two? They come to zero. That's and your answer is nine x squared. That is the equation for the tangent line. Now, in calculus, in the first, the second unit, the set or the first unit, you're going to be given a form of a derivative. Where's the problem? Hold on. There. 3x, what was the original problem? 3x what? f of x is equal to 3x cubed. Yeah. And you're going to be taught in calculus that instead of doing that quotient rule, the difference quotient, all you got to do is multiply 3 times 3 and take 3 minus 1, and that's the good, instead of doing the quotient rule. So you can either do the difference quotient, mm -hmm. okay, hold on. which is how many steps? 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you got to do the limit, which I just did right there 10, 11, 11, 12, whatever. Or you can learn the calculus and just do one step. So, is that the final answer in the next That's the final answer in calculus. Okay? We still got to do the long way. Huh? We still do it the wrong way for that particular question. I mean, that's what you learn in calculus. That's what you learn in calculus. Why I'm showing you. Hmm? Why do you subtract the line? That's the rule. That's the rule? Yeah. Now that rules. You always subtract one. And when you do the end, 
But that's in calculus, and I'm not going. I just want to show you where this is headed because I don't want you to think, oh well, he says we're going to use it in calculus. Uh uh This this right here is the first test. Half the test you're going to be doing this, this, and this. That's half the test. The unit one test. And then the second part of the unit one test is doing these guys. And you do about ten of these, or five or six of these. And what's the purpose of you doing all that longhand stuff and doing this? You appreciate this when you do all that longhand stuff. Just like you appreciate the calculator if you ever have to use a trigonometric table or a slide wheel. You appreciate the calculator a whole lot more. Okay, so that's that problem. What's that mean right there? That x minus 2, what does that minus 2 mean? Yeah, uh, negative. Right. Yeah, this is a negative. Boy. That's <laughs> <laughs> you tight, man. You, you right on it. What does a negative 2 mean? Horizontal shift to the right. Oh, yeah. And what does a cube mean? It means it's going to be going like that. So which one is it? Hmm? No. Should be A. Why is it not these? This one has a vertical shift. See, the original, here's the original right here is in blue. The red is what's moving. Okay? You know from your parents' graphs, turn to your parent graphs. That it's going through what? What is X, what is x cubed going through? It's going through the origin. So what's that one? All of them are going through the origin. The blue's all going through the origin. That's not a problem. But what's this one doing? It's going to what? To down. Well, that's a vertical shift. That would be out here. Minus 2 or minus whatever. So that's not right. Who was that that got mad and left? Oh, All right. What's this one doing? It's going to the left. Well, I told y'all that this is the only time this means the opposite. So that's not right. What's this one doing? So that's your only answer. That's a gimme. I put some of those on the test just so y'all don't come away with a zero. Did you hear me? Zero? Me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, next one. Will Hubert's final be online? Yes. I didn't tell you. Yeah, I didn't tell you. Duh. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. 